Okay, we're looking at one of my big, sexy art books. This is the probably the second biggest art book in my collection. I think my biggest is my Will Eisner Artist Edition. For reference, this is the Fantagraphics Popeye book in comparison to uh, this one. Thimble Theater, the pre-Popeye comics of EC Cigar by Sunday Press. Uh, they clearly, I think the Fantagraphics books came out first and Sunday Press sort of saw their opportunity to make a companion volume and print more of the pre-Popeye comics. So the selling point on this is you've got to be a real big EC Cigar fan. And it kind of like Fantagraphics makes sense, right? Like Popeye's the famous character. EC Cigar didn't come up with Popeye right away. He was making comics for 10 years before he came up with Popeye. And one of the weird things about Popeye is Cigar clearly didn't realize right away what a great character he had created because Popeye just sort of shows up for adventure. The adventure ends. The characters go back home. And it's like, no, you got to bring back Popeye. The readers want to see Popeye. So I think EC Cigar was a genius. So in addition to loving Popeye, I also love uh, the stuff he was doing before Popeye enters into the scene. So you should read C Cigar's work because I, I think this man was a genius in the medium of comics when the medium of comics was at this sort of like height of what the medium could do. Modern comics are just kind of sad compared to that. You read modern comics and they're sort of stuffed. And this is all one guy. One guy gets an entire page to fill up with whatever he wants and tell a whole story. He has like two comic strips. He's got Sappo comic strips on the top about a poor little husband getting henpecked by his big giant waifu. And then he's got this big giant adventure strip about uh, Olive Oil's brother Castor Oil and Harold Ham Gravy out exploring the desert and kidnapping women and meeting weird surreal dinosaurs he is so weird it's weirdness contrasted with ordinary down-to-earth working class people and working class people in the 1910s had the same kind of hopes and dreams and human drives that you and i do but they so, so you can connect with them but it's sort of like they express themselves differently than you or I might. They always are having kind of like interesting little, you know, 19th century isms to how they express themselves. Or the heroes are kidnapping a wife to get ransom money only to realize that it wasn't the wife they kidnapped. It was the mother-in-law they kidnapped. And the guy's never going to pay a ransom to get his mother-in-law back. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> They, they, they're they human characters who, you know, have hope, these hopes and dreams, but they also do really weird and crazy and sometimes violent and dangerous things that, you know, like G-rated modern characters, they could never get away with that. So let's flip through it and look talk a bit about the collection itself. So uh, one nice thing they do is they do show you a little bit of uh, EC Cigar stuff outside of comic strips. So you get some fo family, family photos, you get some little stories and doodles and cards he did, illustration jobs, uh, comics he did before Th Thimble Theater, like a Charlie Chaplin adaptation. So it was a big thing uh, to have comic strips adapting or making fun of movies. And Thimble Theater was actually kind of a knockoff of another comic that did that, where they basically just make a comic strip about whatever was playing in the theater. And Olive Oil and Harold Ham Gravy, there's actually kind of like a little meta thing where all, it was sort of like Olive Oil was supposed to portray whoever the heroine of the story would be, and Harold Ham Gravy was supposed to portray whoever the hero of the story would be, and they'd come out and make fun of whatever movie was in theaters. But then they started to kind of like become their own characters. You'd see, you know, uh, Olive Oil was sort of a flapper girl, and her parents were upset about how she's always out dancing. Harold Ham Gravy's just this poor go bald goof trying Trying to get her attention to casters the sort of the standout character because he's short he's conniving he's always trying to come up with a money-making scheme or a plan to get them out of their uh situation uh and they basically go on this entire adventure throughout the desert where they encounter weird dinosaurs you know they meet cool native americans they, it's about adventure itself let's take these sort of ordinary working class people and let's thrust them out into the Wild West and to see what happens and to see if they fall in love or uh, encounter evil evil bandits, all, all of that. So one nice thing about this collection is in addition to kind of like the nice little, you know, bonus things you get about uh, cigars, you know, early sketches and that kind of work, you get an entire collected story. So one of the cool things about this is these were basically before movies and before internet memes, this was the popular storytelling medium. You would get a long 
epic saga where every single page, every single comic in the collection had to be self-contained and to have its own gag or story. And then collectively, you got an entire adventure story out of it. Uh, it ends on Popeye's first appearance in a Sunday strip, which is precisely where the Fantagraphics collection picks up. So if you are primarily a Popeye fan, you could skip this one and you could skip the pre-Popeye book and go right into uh, the Popeye collection if you're most interested in Popeye. If you love Cigar himself, uh, this isn't a complete book. It's not collecting every little daily strip he does. I found some blogs that have some of his daily strip work. I haven't been able to find anything like a complete collection of, you know, his black and white daily strips yet. So if you, if there are any EC Cigar fanboys out there who could point me to the direction of, you know, Popeye historians who've got some of that, let me know. But this is a really nice book if you love the Sunday art and you want big, beautiful color prints of the Sunday Art. And I think that Cigar is showing a lot of his strengths here, kind of like the blue collar, working class feel of the characters, uh, the adventure element, even like the weirdness element of, you know, having them have some surreal and trippy adventures. And then it would lead you up right into the, the Popeye era. Uh, it, I'll probably set you back 80 bucks, but for me, it's worth it. Check it out.